Welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through the colours used to build up this bright pink beak of this female cardinal. I'm drawing on pastel mat. You can find the line drawing for the cardinal over on my Patreon channel and I'll link that in the top corner of your screen now and also in the description. Over there, as well as the line drawing, you'll find the full step-by-step -step tutorial and complete list of supplies used. Before we start, if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Turn on the notifications and remember to click on that like button if you enjoy the video. All of these steps are a huge help and a great way to support my channel and these tutorials. Okay, let's grab the pencils and let's get started. So I'm coming in with a Burn Toker 10%. And I'm going to come around this beak with this pinky colour. And if you didn't have this, you could use the uh, the beige red. The one that used to be called Light Flesh. Let's get that burnt ochre in there. I want to come into the top of this beak with a bit of light magenta. And I use the light magenta quite a lot. If I ever have to draw, you know, a, um, a dog's tongue or something, it's quite a nice, useful colour to have in your pencil case. So let's put, that she goes all the way back under there, actually. Let's put that back there. And then the light magenta comes up here. Let's put that in there, just really light pressure, popping that in there. I also want to come into this area with a bit of the light flesh, 10%. I'm bringing some of this peachy colour around here. So blending out what we've got and adding this peach. I'm also going to go into a bit of this area with the cadmium orange. There's some lovely orange in areas coming through this beak. I'm going to bring this cadmium orange under. Blend this together on this outside with this salmon from the Derwent Light Fast range. I'll bring that, bring that together a little bit. I'm going to bring a bit of salmon from the Polychromos into this beak as well. Bring this underneath. Brighten up this. Brighten up this area. I'm going to come under this this beak with some of the pale geranium lake from the Polychromos range, and I'm going to come under here. It's a really lovely, bright sort of ready pink beak with touches of orange in here and there. So I'm going to come under and around with this geranium lake. A little bit coming out of here. I'm 
And there's quite a lot of colours going in here, but then there really are a lot of colours that are in this beak, a lot of colours. I'm going to go over that uh, light geranium lake and I'm going to go over it with a bit of the rose carmine and I'm going to bring this down and bend this really light pressure again, really light pressure. Blend that together. And then I'm going to blend this with the cadmium orange again. And then back in with this light magenta and also around here. some of that orange off that beak and into those feathers because that just creeps out into these feathers here and a little bit on the top there as well. Blending it with this light geranium lake. I'm going to bring this together with the pink white from the Luminance range. So I'm just pressing on really lightly and just using little circular strokes to blend this beak together. using the um, the pink white as a bit of a blender pen really just using it to blend the top of this beak and soften everything and bring it all together I'm not pressing on hard, just using circular strokes to blend that. Around this little bit here, I'm going to bring in a bit of the Capit Morton Violet. It's got quite a dark part of the beak there where that beak sort of closes on itself. And also there's a little dark bit there. I'm just going to pop that in. And then, of course, we've got the nostril around here. So I'm going to pop that in as well with the um, the cap of autumn violet. And blend that out. And then that carries on out into the rest of the, the bird's feathers. I'm just going to put this bit of texture in on this side. And these darker bits now, these darker edges that are going in, let's just shape that bit, they're going to start to add a bit more 3D to the beak. So I'm coming in, I'm feathering it in, I'm keeping all my pencil strokes starting on the edge of the beak and that's going to give me a nice neat edge on this beak and feather and blend the colour up that way.
covering it down this way as well and it's just shaping the the beak and those colours that we've put in. We go back into that bit with a bit of the light magenta. And I'm going to blend this little bit here as well with just a little bit of the cold grey. I'm just going to shape that. I've just made that a little bit pointed and I just want that to be shaped a bit more, just softened off. So I'm just softening that off with the Caput Morton Violet. Blend with this rose carmine again. Really gently. I'm going to take my kneadable eraser again and I'm just shaping it into a pencil again quite a thin sort of pencil and I'm just going to pull a little bit of this color off around here to create a highlight I've already got the uh, the the light magenta down so I'm pulling back to that light magenta a little bit and also just pulling off the top of this nose around here and you can see it's picking up the colour. Just gonna dab into that a little bit and just create a little highlight and then just blend this out with the pink white. And also up here. Just to soften that highlight down. There's a tiny little highlight that goes all the way down into the tip of the beak actually. So let's just, so because I want to get really small with it, I'm actually just sort of flattening the eraser out and I'm just going to dab that down into the tip of that beak. Pull a little bit out. Dab that there and then just go in with the white, pink white that is. Here we go. A little bit of the Caput Autumn Violet coming around here again. A tiny little bit. Shape that. And then I'm just using a little bit of this pale geranium lake just to go around that nostril. And here's the finished drawing of the female cardinal. If you would like to draw the complete bird, you can find this project along with many other step-by-step -step tutorials over on my Patreon channel. Each tutorial is broken down into manageable parts with a note of the pencil color used on screen at each stage. The videos are also accompanied by a line drawing, reference photograph, and a full list of the supplies and materials used. Or if you prefer, why not check out this tutorial here on YouTube where I'll show you how I drew this male red cardinal step by step from start to finish. Okay I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions drop them in the comments below. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful and want to see more. I post new videos every week. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.